Hello Capricorns. I'm going to look into what your person's feeling, thinking, wanting, um, just whatever the cards want to say. By the way, if your name is John um, or if your name starts with J and you recently have gone through a psychic awakening process, like you're starting to channel, you're starting to um, maybe like getting into like meditation, like tarot, those kind of things, starting to, you know, see the other side of the world, but you don't really have anyone to talk to about it. Like it just kind of like the, the, um, the psychic energy just kind of came in all at once and most of your friends don't really understand it. Uh, your spirit guides did come through and they do have a message for you about that, about how to navigate that energy and everything else. Um, and I'm, I'm not going to charge you for that because I mean, if your spirit guides came through that strongly, like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not going to charge anything for that. So just send me an email and I will look into that for you for free. Um, Anyway, let's get into the reading, though, for, for the rest of you in this energy group. So for Capricorns, let's see what your person wants to uh, tell you. For this group, I've gotten the energy of, like, a shy, secret admirer type for quite a while. I feel like some of you are, they're sweet and they're caring, but I think some of you are getting tired of waiting for them to make a move or you're tired of them. Like, there's, like, miscommunication. So some of you also have someone new that's either just come in or about to come in. So let's see what's going on in general. Let's just see what the cards want to say. I'm aware that we're telepathically communicating. We have a deep spiritual bond. So if you're psychically connecting with someone, they're they're aware of it. They're aware of the telepathic communication. Like they might even be deliberately telepathically communicating with you. There is a deep psychic spiritual bond here, which makes sense if you're... Um, you know, because I did channel that one person that went, is going through a psychic awakening right now. And maybe some of you are also in that energy group where your third eye is opening up more and more. And so you have this um, psychic connection. This could be someone you have not even met yet. For some of you, you have met them. But it's just like a twin flame or soulmate connection. Uh, I'm romantic and I'm emotional. I usually hide it well, but you bring out my softer side. So this is someone that's probably not super trusting with most people. They might be kind of guarded, a little bit reserved, maybe shy. But with you, it's like you just, you make them want to be their true self. You make them, you put them in touch with that side of themselves, their romantic, emotional, passionate side. Like you just kind of stir something up inside of them. I've daydreamed about what it'd be like to be married to you. I want to talk to you, but so much time has gone by. I'm not sure how to start up a conversation. So I do feel two different energies here. Like I said, I, I do feel the secret admirer energy, like this person that's kind of had feelings for you for, for a while. Um, they want to talk to you, but maybe like they just don't know how. Like it's like awkward. Like they don't know how to start a conversation with you. I feel like you've kind of gotten tired of waiting for that person to make a move though you've kind of gotten tired of them being shy so you also do have this new love that's either just come in or coming in and there's a very deep psychic bond here um possibly even something that could lead to marriage your person is trying to get their life together so that they can come to you with a stable love offer so if you haven't met this person this could be someone that's just like working on themselves like um, might be taking care of like physical and mental health issues, um, finances, like fitness. I see like dieting, gym exercise, that kind of thing. Like they might be, you guys are telepathically connecting. So even if you haven't met them yet, they're still aware of you. Like they do have that sense that they're about to meet someone and they're, um, they're trying to get their life together so that they can come to you with a stable love offer. They're... They're trying to prepare for you because they feel like something really big is around the corner. For others, you guys might have already already met in person, but they're they're um, still trying to get everything together because maybe it was kind of unexpected. Like I feel like you guys are gonna meet in a really unexpected way, so they might just be kind of like trying to, you know, catch up and prepare for this connection. I feel like some of them are kind of self conscious about like their weight or their physical appearance, so they're wanting to really be perfect for you and get all their ducks in a row. I'm afraid you'll break my heart. It's hard for me to fully trust you. So this is someone who's damaged, but I feel like they are going to trust you, even though it might be hard. Just be patient with them um, because they've never felt this way before. So I feel like that's going to be the, the difference, too, between this and people from your past is like they're not going to 
they're going to be scared, but they're not going to sabotage it and run. Whereas people from your past, if they got scared, I feel like they kind of ghosted you or they gaslit you or they um, pushed you away or just caused unnecessary drama where it's like this person is going to be very, um, like they're damaged, but they're very um, vulnerable and they're very mature and very honest and um, very open. So I feel like even though there's going to be the fear, they're going to approach that fear in a different way than your exes might have, if that made, makes sense. Like, yeah, they're going to be afraid to trust you, but like, they're going to know that this is rare. They're not going to, they're not, you're not going to have to like ghost them or play games with them for them to know right off the bat that this is a rare psychic connection that they've never felt this way before. So yeah, they're going to be afraid of getting hurt, but they're going to, um, they're, they're going to push past that fear. They're going to work through that fear. They might even be honest with you about the fear. Like they might be like, you know, like I, you know, let's take things slow. Like I am damaged. Maybe they just got out of something. Um, you know, like just kind of like not wanting to rush things, but I feel like they're still going to be consistent though, even if they are moving slowly. And that's going to be the difference. Like I'm not talking about someone that's going to be like silent or put you on hold. No, none of that. I'm just saying someone that might want to like go out for coffee um, maybe like not, um, not sleep together right away, or maybe they just want to kind of, uh, like develop something solid and build from there. Like they do want to build with you though, but they're just working through their damage. But I, like I said, I feel like this person is going to be honest with you about that. They're going to be like, Hey, like, you know, I've been through a lot. Like I do want you, I do want to see where this could go. Um, let's just not rush things. Like let's, you know, maybe they just got out of something where they were, like, living with someone, so it's kind of like they want to, like, not live with anyone anytime soon, but eventually it will get there, you know? Just be patient with them. My feelings for you are stronger than I let on. So, yeah, they're going to be feeling those in-love feelings, but they're probably going to try to play it cool because they're not going to want to freak you out. But they're going to feel like they love you. This is going to be, like, almost like a love at first sight kind of thing. They're going to feel like they love you really quickly. Um... And there's kind of like a warning, like not to come on too strong because they might not quite be ready for that. So it's like, cause you're both going to feel it, but they might kind of try to play it cool. Like, you know what I mean? Cause they're, they're going to be like, oh my God, like, why do I love this person that I've only known for a week? Why do I feel so at home with this person that I barely know? And it's like, well, it's a past life connection. Like this is like a soulmate or a twin flame. This is a potential life partner. And you feel this. I feel like you, you know, like you, you, like intuitively, you know that you can feel this person. A little bit of fear there, but they're working through it. You have been showing up in, in their dreams lately. I really feel like a very deep psychic bond here. So that doesn't surprise me that they might be having dreams about you or you're having dreams about them, regardless of whether you've met in person or not yet. This situation involves children and obligations or childish energy. So they could have kids. Um, which might be kind of like a, you know, an oddball that you didn't expect or a cur curveball with, what's that freaking, whatever. You know what I mean? I don't know what that saying is, but, <laughs> um, I feel like they have like also a childish energy. Like they have a, um, but not in a bad way, almost like a, like a sweetness and innocence to them. Like they, in the past, they always saw the best in everyone. And so now they're trying to be more logical because they've gotten manipulated. I feel like people, I feel like this person's financially well off. And so people have taken advantage of them financially in the past as well. Um, or just try to manipulate them in other ways. And, and so they used to be very innocent and, you know, empathic and always see the best in, in people. And now they're a little bit more, more guarded, more distrusting. So it's like, don't be off, you know, don't let that be off putting if, if they're, seem like a little reserved or shy because there is a lot more to them, but it might just take them a while to really open up. But I feel like they're going to feel that connection with you right away. Like this is going to be very passionate. You guys are going to feel this pretty early on. Um, I think you're both going to know early on, like that you want this to go somewhere long term. Even if you guys are moving slowly, like, you know, you're still going to be fantasizing about each other and still wanting you know, you know what I mean? Like the, the energy, the emotion is going to be there, even if you guys don't express it fully right away. Um, but they, they have a childish energy, I think, but in a sweet way, like a sweet kind of innocent way. I feel like you're, you guys are going to be having fun together. So you guys are going to be getting back in touch, like with that energy as well when you're with them.
I've come close to messaging you. I start typing, but then I overthink everything and end up deleting everything I wrote. So if you know this person, they might already like have these, you know, days when they're like when they're drunk or they're high or something, or they're just in that passionate romantic energy. Like they just watched a romantic movie and they're like, they just want to like, you know, just uh, jump in and like tell you like, you know, like I missed you. I want to see you. Can you come over? Like, you know, whatever. Like, you know, or if, like if it's long distance, they're like, can you just come out here now? And they stop themselves because they're like, okay, logically, like, you guys just met. Like, they want to wait. Um, they are a little bit unhappy in their current life, kind of drained and distracted. I feel like this person does have a lot going on, a lot on their plate. I'm afraid you moved on. I'm aware that you're my soulmate or twin flame. You're the one. I almost feel like they're, like, afraid you will move on. Like, they want to make sure they... They're trying to find a good balance. This person's very sweet. Um... They don't have a lot of game. Either you don't have a lot of game or they don't or both, but it's it's good. It's it's more genuine, you know what I mean? It's going to be very different than your other relationships, but this is a soulmate or twin flame. This is a potential life partner. So, um anyway, I hope that resonates and like I said, if you're if you know, you're that person I ch I channeled, send me a message. I will you know, look into this into that more for you for free. Um please subscribe if it resonates. Any donations are appreciated and email me for a private reading. Thanks for watching.